Hi guys, so um, I always get a lot of questions about how I do my hair myself. So I have been dyeing my hair myself for quite a long time. Um, for a little bit there I was going to a salon for about a year, but otherwise I dye my hair myself. Um, I bleach it myself and I've been doing the crazy colors on my hair um, for years, sometimes with help, sometimes without help. So this is just a video on how I dye my hair myself. Okay, so um, usually I use slightly different products. So this is gonna be a bit of a tester for me today because I haven't used these products before, but I've always wanted to. Um, so I usually use the um, Super Jug Pick and Mix Bleach Blonde um, because it is um, vegan. But at the moment, Super Jug beside me is closed. So I can't get that. So, but what I did find in Boots is this Bleach London total bleach um i bought two boxes of it just in case i need to um so i'm going to use this today to bleach my hair to get my roots um all bleached up and ready to color this is a vegan brand they are um you can see at the top there um they're a vegan brand um they are anti um plastic they are um they're reducing the amount of plastic they, they can use um so yeah they're eco-friendly um, as much as bleach can be eco-friendly um, and they're vegan as well. So that's really, 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 really important to me. I try to only use vegan hair products. So um, in this, you'll find a packet of gloves. You will find your reincarnation hair mask, which is really important for later. You will find your developing lotion. Okay. And you will find two packets of the bleaching powder. So there's two of these, okay? And you also have, super important, your instruction booklet. This is actually really handy because it has um, the do's and don'ts of looking after blonde hair care as well. Um, if you just want to be blonde instead of crazy color. Um, and it also gives tips on how to divide your hair, how to part your hair, how to dye your hair, whether you're doing roots or the length. So there you go um super important to read the instructions super important to do a patch test etc etc okay so um what they don't include is um the mixing bowl and the brush okay so because that's part of their i'm reducing their single use plastic so bowl and tinting brush i got these in pan stretcher years ago and i've been using these for years um but they do the job they work um i also use i also have hair grips you can get them again you can get them literally any store um just to keep my hair parted while i am doing it okay i'm just gonna brush my hair first first things first we are going to put our gloves on if you have multi-use gloves, they're best. Um, but these are the gloves that come. It's literally like one of the only single-use plastic things in the entire box. So these are the gloves that come with it. So I'm going to use those today. I'm not my keen on these gloves. I usually have like multi-purpose gloves. But however, it will survive. Okay, so... Okay, so you put the powder in first and then you put the liquid in. Okay, scissors, we are going to open our sachet. I usually just cut a corner off it um, rather than going the whole, they do have like a little tear, you can see that there, a little um, tear tab, but I have always just used scissors instead. Okay, um, whenever you make this stuff up, you wanna use it pretty much straight away. Um, you don't want to mix it up and leave it for too long. So we're just putting it into the bowl. You don't want to leave it sitting for too long um, once it's mixed up. You want to mix it and go ahead and start using it straight away. And try not to breathe it in. It is bleach powder. And we're putting our second one in as well. So you need both packets. I should say you should be wearing an old t-shirt. Um, and if you have a towel as well, to wrap a towel around your shoulders as well. I'm really bad at doing the towel because I actually just find that the towel gets really frustrating in my way and I end up taking it off anyway. Um, so that's why I'm not wearing a towel. Okay, now we are taking our um, development lotion. Okay. 
Okay, then we are taking our tinting brush and we're just gently mixing it together. Just go easy on it because um, you don't want it all the powder all flowing out over the top or anything. So you're gently just mixing. I'm just kind of pulling around from the side a little bit. I don't know if you can see that it's starting to mix. If you just if you scoot the brush too much, um, it can actually just it can kind of spray it everywhere. So you're just carefully mixing it. Okay, and once you start kind of getting that goopy consistency, I don't know if you can see that. It kind of looks like kind of looks like really runny porridge. You know that porridge I used to get in a packet, like powder porridge. I don't know what I'm thinking of, but that's what it reminds me of. Okay, so we are getting it smooth, really, really, really gorgeous, smooth, smooth consistency. You can see that. Okay, I'm gonna open the window. Because, I'm gonna open the door again as well. Um, always make sure that you have a window open somewhere. It's really, really important because bleach is, it's chemicals. It is chemicals and it's really like toxic. <laughs> it's bleach. Um, no matter how amazing or vegan or whatever it is, it's still bleach, okay? So we have a really nice, thick, goopy, it's kind of like, it's kind of like buttercream icing, but don't eat it. <laughs> Yeah, it kind of looks like buttercream icing. Okay, so we have our bleach. Anything rubbish related that you don't need, like right now, move out of the way. Okay. So we have comb and clips. That's all I have right now, and then my bleach as well. Okay, so I'm just gonna clip this part of my hair up. We have our first section of hair. Okay, so I start on the top of my head because that's gonna end up, wherever you start is gonna be the lightest color. Um, and if you want that to be the lightest color or the darkest color, whatever it is that you want. Um, so that's why I start at the top because I want my roots at the very top of my head to be the lightest color. Um, obviously because I'm gonna be putting crazy color in on top of this. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take some bleach on my tinted brush. Okay, you don't want too much bleach to start with, okay? You just wanna kinda of get the hang of it. Okay, so I have some bleach and I'm just gently gonna start brushing that on. Now, it always says to be really careful to not get it on any pre-bleached hair. Um, but I always run it a tiny bit over um, just to make sure that any kind of leftover residue bits are getting covered. Okay, then I take this. I take the kind of the point, the pointy bit. You can use a tail comb. I have my green tail comb there as well. And I'm just gently, I don't know if you can see that in the camera. Okay, I go about halfway through and divide it up. Okay, and I pull it over and I get that last bit. And I pull it over. Okay, I'm just gonna make sure that's all touched up in there. We don't want any dark corners. We don't want any dark surprises coming through. So this is just a really handy way of making sure that you get all your little bits. Okay, and don't be afraid to put the bleach on. All right, and we take the next bit, we just put our tail through, pull it up. This can take a little bit of practice. Uh, we're just going to take that last bit at the end and put it up. 
Now I should point out, I am not a hairdresser. I have learned, I am a, um, an observer of everything. So I learn through watching. So um, my learning how to do my hair is just from watching um, other hairdressers. There's just like a little bit there that I'm missing. Um, it's just by watching other hairdressers do my hair. Um, so that is how I learned. So <laughs> disclaimer, I'm not a hairdresser. Okay, and we're just pulling over, we're pulling over. Just making sure that you're just getting all the bits, you know? That's really, especially with the top layers. And the top layers are the part that everyone sees. And the more you do it, the faster you'll get at it as well. You know, you just really don't want to have any of those flyaway roots poking their dark little head through. I'm just going to pull some of that down a little bit. Okay. I don't know if you can see that. Sometimes there's like little lines um, in the color, in the bleach, and I'm just trying to make sure that we don't have any of those because I, I don't, I don't know if that makes a difference. Um, but if it does, <laughs> I want to make sure that it doesn't affect the even spread of bleach around my hair. All right. And we're just going to keep going. That's the hardest thing about doing your own hair is that you are looking from the front. Um, we don't have eyes on the back of our head. I know. I know. Right? I know. You can see all the pastel rainbow colors coming through. Oh my god. Um, I had orange and purple. And it literally looked like an African sunset was in my hair. It was the coolest fucking thing ever. Now, I can't see back there. Okay, so we're going by feel. Just really need to be conscious of what you can feel. Um, so back there, I'm like, oh, that feels kind of warm. Okay, when you put the brush over it, it feels colder. Um, and you can feel the, the coolness of your brush. And that is... That's kind of my trick to how I get the back of my hair because I do somehow manage to consistently um, get fairly even, even dye across all of my roots. color <laughs> which hopefully it won't but if it does just remember that everyone had to start somewhere you know and that even hairdressers screw up sometimes they do I mean nobody likes to say that everyone messes up sometimes but everyone screws up sometimes So my tail comb is clean, so it doesn't have any bleach on it. Um, and I'm just going to use that to divide that little bit there.
so I have got all of my roots done. I put a few little bits on the ends that were still really dark um, for when it went black. I do that every time I bleach. I'm not supposed to do that, but I do because um, I'm still trying to get rid of that black that I made the really stupid mistake to dye my hair black and now I'm paying the price. So anyway, um, some of the bits in the end, I put a little bit of bleach as well. Um, I just put a little bit extra um, around the front of my head because I always miss like a teeny little bit. Um, and when your hair is really dark, it's really obvious when you miss that teeny little bit. Um, so it's been, a lot of this has been on for quite a while because um, I have a lot of hair and it took me a while to get through all of it. I did open the second tub of, um, the second tub of dye. Um, and I did mix the second, um, the second box. I did go through it. So I went through two boxes um, to get all of my roots and make sure I had loads left after, of, over from the second one. I just went over and used as much of it as I could, kind of doing the tips um, and just going through the rest of them. So this is starting to feel really um, cooked, <laughs> for lack of a better word. Um, so whatever length you did a strand test, you should always do a strand test and a patch test. Um, you should always do those, make sure you don't have any allergic reactions to anything. Um, and just to just figure out how long your hair should be on for. Um, so because I always do the front first, I should really do the back first because then the front I can see. So I can't see the back of my head. So I'm not gonna be able to tell if it's actually done or not, but it is lighting up, lifting really quickly. Um, so it should be ready to take out fairly soon because it has been in for a while, especially because I have so much hair. So I'm just getting those little bits that I can just feel on my neck. Um, so when I rinse it out, um, I'm gonna just use some basic conditioner, just a teeny little bit just to get through, just so I can comb my hair through afterwards. Um, because I am going to put the, use my Shrine hair color for the first time. I'm really excited. Um, so I'm gonna rinse it out when it's rinsed out. I'm gonna rinse it out. Um, I, I do shampoo it. For the moment, I just use this for my, when I'm washing bleach. If I bleach it, it's cheap, it's cheerful. It smells really good. Um, I just use it to rinse out the excess bleach, just to make sure there's no residue left in my hair. Um, and then I use a little bit of conditioner just to make sure I can get the comb through when I'm putting the crazy color in because I need to be able to make sure that that's really, really even as well. Um, so I'm gonna wash it out. I'm gonna um, use my shampoo. I'm gonna use a little bit of conditioner just to make sure that I can get my comb through it to make sure the crazy color goes in okay. And then I'm gonna crazy color it. So um, yeah, I'll be back in a second. Hi guys, okay, so. I am um, bleached. I had started recording, putting my pink in, and then I realized I hadn't pressed the record button. So that is why my hair is partially already pink. Okay, so I just want to talk you through um, my products for my color. Okay, so I am using, for the first time, I'm using Shrine Droplets. Um, the pink and the purple, so this is the pink pink and the purple. Um, they're a vegan company, they're anti-plastic, um, they are super against um, single-use plastics and all that kind of stuff. Actually says, no, I don't know if you can see that, no single-use plastic. All right, um, yeah, they're super eco. So, they come with a little brush, which is super cute, a little droplet bottle, and a little bowl that says shrine on the side of it, which is kind of cool. Okay, so what I love about these and why I want, bought them and wanted to try them out is basically they're little dropper bottles. So you just put your conditioner into the bowl and you can choose, it has a little bit of a grade on the side of the box. You can choose how dark or how light you want your hair to go. Okay, so I am going to do 12 droplets. Um, and we're gonna see how it turns out. So you basically just drop it in, mix it around, and then you leave it in. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna try and keep this bit blonde, because I actually like how blonde this turned out. If it wants to cooperate. Um, 
I did put a whitening toner in um, after I bleached it as well. So I will show you that guys, show you guys that in a second. But we are going to put 12 drops of this. So you can just kind of see, you should be wearing gloves. I'm not very good at remembering to wear gloves when I'm doing color. Okay, so literally it's like a little drop of all. So we're gonna put 12, so one, 11, and 12. Okay, so what I love about these is because they're color bonds and they wash out, they come in a tiny little bottle. The bottle was like eight or nine pound or something in boots. Um, and because they're such a small bottle and you put them as a, there you go. Um, and because you use it kind of like a color bomb, I love that because for that eight pound, you're gonna get so many hair colors out of that. You're gonna get to do your hair so many times with that. Um, instead of spending eight pounds on a gin ginormous bottle, which is gonna do you like one run on your hair. Um, so it's much cheaper. It's much more eco. Um, so let's just see. So that's the color it is. It's all mixed in. Okay. I am going to, again, I'm going to use my tail comb to separate the pieces. Okay, so I don't know if you can properly see this. We're just gonna brush it on, we're just gonna use it like a tint brush, right? How amazing is that purple, oh my god! Purple is fabulous, it's so pretty. It is so, so, so pretty. So all my roots are done. for this bit because it's on the end so it's just a little bit awkward it and essentially this is just conditioner yeah you should be using gloves obviously um but i'm just really bad at using gloves when i do when i do hair color it's not too bad. This stuff is, style is actually really good um, because it's conditioner base, so it's more like a color bond than anything else. Um, whereas some of the other colors that I use, um, if you put them on your skin, if you get them on your skin, you kind of stain for a couple of days. Um, so that's really why you should use gloves when you're doing color. Um, and I'm just washing my products. So I'm just gonna leave this in now for about half hour just to make sure 
um, then it really gets soaked through. Um, I'm gonna wash my stuff. Then after about a half hour, I'm gonna wash it out. Um, I'm gonna wash it out. I'm not gonna use any shampoos or anything. I'm gonna put a little bit of conditioner in the bottom of my hair and I'll show you guys what it looks like. So yeah, I'll be back in a bit. Hi guys. So this is how my hair turned out. Um, it was just my roots that I dyed. So I'm just gonna lift my film so you can see it a bit better. Excuse my messy bedroom in the background if you do see it. So I left that blonde section at the top, which has come out so, so fabulous. Um, and then on the bottom, we have this kind of pale pink roots, which is really cool. I'm gonna try and lift that. If you can kind of see those bits of pink coming through there. Um, and then I have my purple roots on this side, uh, which came through the whole way, which is really cool. Um, yeah, and I'm, you can see all the roots in there. I have to say that I'm really, really, really happy with how the colors came out. Um, I think next time I will definitely put some more drops into the pink, um, just to make the pink a little bit darker because it did come out really, really light. Um, it comes out, it looks really blonde on the camera, but it's actually much pinker <laughs> in real life. It's just not picking up the color very well. Um, but I'll definitely put more drops of pink in next time um, because... I just want the pink to be a little bit darker, but I also really like kind of the pastel look. I think it's really cool. Um, and the roots just came out so fab. I love, I am loving the purple. I'm loving it so, so, so much. And I am absolutely in love with my blonde. So with the blonde, um, before I put any of the color in, I used this. It's the white toner. It's also Bleach London. It's also vegan. It's also um, anti um anti plastic say no to excess plastic um and all that kind of stuff so it's the same brand as the bleach blonde that i used um and it literally just comes is with a squeezy bottle and an applicator bottle and you just squeeze it and you mix it up um and you just put it in on top of your blonde uh, on top of your kind of um towel dried um bleached hair and it just brightens it it just whitens it a little bit um, and it actually just came out so nicely. There's no yellowy tones. It's just really nice and bright and it's absolutely, oh, I'm just so obsessed with that. I love it so much. Um, so I did use that just to brighten all the color, uh, just to brighten the blonde before I put the color in. And then, so I very rarely ever, um, blow dry my hair. I'm going to do a, um, a hair care tutorial, um, on another video anyway, but I very rarely ever, ever, ever blow dry my hair because it's so bad for your hair. Um, so instead of blow drying it, I was leaving it to dry and then I saw this tutorial on, um, I think they're called Flow. I'll tag their Instagram um, in the comments. Um, they were doing a live Instagram tutorial where you, with for no heat waves, um, no heat curls. Now usually any no heat curls that I have ever tried and I have tried them all, they don't work. I, they either end, they just, they... I wake up and I take it out and my hair just like flops back out again um, and my hair is really straight um, and even curling it with a curler um, it's because my hair is so long it doesn't um, curl very well um, I need to get a thicker curler for heat waves but um, so they basically just used a scarf right so you just put your scarf over and I'll I will do a tutorial on it um another day when my hair is like freshly washed and straight again just to show you guys how to do it um but it just uses a scarf and I left it on overnight and oh my god that's why my hair is curly um I put this I know it's for blow dry but um it just adds that extra bit of texture so I just put this into it before I wrapped it in the scarf and then when I took it out I used that both of these um, were clear outs for my granny's house. <laughs> so, um, so much of my products, um, unless it's like dye and bleach and stuff, so many of my products, I just, if people are doing a clear out, that's where I get stuff from because otherwise so much stuff ends up in the skip, it ends up in the landfill. Um, and that's so bad for the environment. So I just love testing out everybody else's like hand-me-down products um and then I put this in I love this I actually love 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 this when this runs out I'm going to look into um whether or not John Frieda are 
um, cruelty free. I'm going to look into all that. And um, if anybody knows, please let me know. Um, because this is actually fabulous. Um, but if they're not cruelty free, I need to find a vegan alternative. But that's what I put in afterwards. I just kind of scrunched it through and it does um, kind of just hold your hair a little bit better. So I'm just going to do my makeup. So I am ready for the day. Seeing as my hair is all fabulous looking now, I need to have my makeup all fabulous looking now. Okay, so I have makeup on. I will put the makeup on. The makeup, I did it as a tutorial. Um, so when that goes up, subscribe so you get a notification when that goes up. Because there's a lot of swearing and I poked myself in the, in the eye with the eyeliner. Um, and shit kind of went wrong <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> it's my first makeup tutorial. What? <laughs> it's probably my last too. Um... But yeah, so my hair turned out really, really well. I used my Shine products. I will link the Shrine and the Bleach products below because you can actually buy them online. Um, the blue on the bottom, I should say, that the blue on the bottom and the colours on the bottom here, they were just residue from before. They were already there. Um, I didn't redo them. Um, but they are the um, super drug colours as well. So they're not the Shrine colours. Um, it's the top colours. You can't really see it that well in the in the camera but all of this pink I don't know if you can see all those pink roots um that is all the shrine color and all of the purple is all shrine as well um and then obviously the bleach is the bleach london um and then I curled it um with a scarf so thank you so much for watching if you've watched this far um if you have any questions feel free to pop them I do dye my hair at home myself a lot I've been doing it for years um so if you do have any questions, pop over. I'm not a hairdresser, but um, I have been doing it myself for years. So if I can help, I will help. So if anyone has any questions, um, just let me know. I am going to do a hair care tutorial video as well at some point um, because I do get a lot of questions about how I look after my hair. Um, considering I diet so much because I do, I do diet an awful lot. Um, so I will do a tutorial on how to look after your hair and keep your locks all beautiful and fabulous and shiny um, between colours. So have an amazing day everybody. Thank you so much for watching. If you have watched this far, please share with anyone who might need this assistance. Especially given the current state of affairs in the world where everyone is chopping their hair off and dyeing their hair and screwing it up. Um, everyone makes mistakes. Uh, but if anybody might need this, please send it to them because it might be helpful. <laughs> okay, have an amazing day, everybody, and I will see y'all later.